period of time. They didn't have phones. They didn't have. They just they watched. That's why like people so, most so days people back then knew way more about the movement of the sky than we do yeah, today. But, but so what you're saying is that it has evolved over the same course of action as religion. In the same way. Uh, I mean, in a in a way, yeah, I get what you're saying. The outer because organization of God. Reliable. No, okay, so what I'm saying, yeah, the, the outer organization of thought about it, so what I meant by, like, it's pretty hard to put into a hard science, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of extra crap in it, and most most of it is pretty much crap. But yep. do I think the, what they're, the origin of it, like what they're seeing, and does it have some connection? I do think there is a connection. There might be a connection. I, I don't can't think prove. that it's all completely like made up. I think that they saw they saw these tendencies and these things over watching these people being born over a long, long, long period of time, and they say, "Wow, these but, traits." But, but, no, no, no. That's where I break your argument because that that can't be real because back in the days, the connectivity and the like information transferring were much worse. Like there were smaller communities; <laughs> everything was much more localized. So everything became more like rumors and went from mouth to mouth and went on yeah. down generations, turned into different kind of stories were exaggerated and people seeing patterns. What you're saying is people studied this shit and studied the patterns about personalities. But what I'm saying is that it was in a so local area that it cannot be sort of a truth in that aspect. I see, but Camp across across all cultures all over the world, these supposedly local like places, right? They they had the same. They were drawing the same stuff on their buildings and had similar archetypes and had similar stories and characters. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, these archetypes and these connections are ingrained in the human mind. If you so can, no matter where you are, to that if you can provide any truth to that argument that they were drawn on different places on Earth during the same time. Uh, yeah, you can. Or, then I will change I mean, my statement and believe you. Okay, I, mean, I could find that real quick. How Cause then it's fucking cultures weird. have drawn similar things all over the world? Like, talked about similar stories? So are you arguing that the archetypes are somewhat accurate or the actual, like, association of archetypes, the whole system is? I'm not saying astrology, the outer, the TE system or whatever, if I want to label it TE, right. the outer organization of thought that surrounds astrology, no, that's crap. Just like with most modern religions today, or the organized thought that surrounds the religion is crap most of the time. But the things that they stem from, some of the initial points that they were drawing from, I don't believe are crap. I just believe they weren't too many people got a hold of it and it just got a bunch of mush. It just became so much shit over time. But I don't think a lot of the original things, but here, let me go back to my finding this thing for him. I'd have to post a, I'm gonna have to post a few links. I have a friend that uh, works for the Navy. She's a cultural anthropologist and she studies this stuff. Same 
same stuff that is across all cultures that's found all over the world, no matter what time period. But what kind of symbols are they? Like, or do you, well, like, is your statement about the symbols themselves or is the statement about the correlation between the symbols and personalities? Well, my initial point about the the um, astrology was that, like I said, I don't I don't ascribe to subscribe to like all the organized thought that surrounds astrology today. That's not what I'm saying. I think is true. So if you went and pulled up your astrology sign on the internet and read it all, blah blah. No, most of that is crap. Do I think though that there are just like with types, like with you being ENTP or whatever, INTP, we have ISFJ in here, blah, blah, blah. Those are born out of nature, just as in like, just as in a structure, like the way a leaf or a pine cone or a blade of grass organizes itself in a certain form over and over and over again in a pattern to where you can recognize that form. I think consciousness does the same thing. That's what archetypes are. So there are forms that are being born or that are naturally arise in nature in beings, just like a blade of grass or a pine cone. It's a structure. Yeah, but like that, so what I'm I, saying is the, yeah. the, arc, the astrology signs to say that I think it's just another typology. It's not that it's not a hard science. It's just another typology that they, they but, tried to structure. So what you're saying is that a person who was born under the same, like with the same sign that I have, should have like somewhat same personality traits in certain in a certain aspect. They're gonna would they have certain similar some similar personality traits? Yes, I do think so. Just like certain so, so people with the same MBD, MBTI type are going to have some of the same traits as well. Yeah, no, but they're there's not. A difference. There's a bit, bit, very big difference here. And that difference is the fact that the MBTI type is something you consciously type in and make your own decisions about over the course of action. While the other thing is just like, oh, you were born during this period. So it doesn't make no sense. You and by the way, you, just, you think you decided your MBTI type? Um, by how I interpreted the questions and answered, yeah. Okay, but what I'm saying is, is over time, your whole life, the structure that's been built that you call yourself right now, you you built that whole thing. Can you literally take? Can you take ownership for all that? Because nature know, and how, life I don't know has how shaped you. Spiritual, you, you want to go in this discussion, or if you want to root it in science. Well, what I, I'm not, I'm not, okay, like. We're not getting anywhere. I'm just asking you questions. Just saying stuff like not rooted in science, that doesn't really so, answer anything. Like that, you're not answering is, anything. How much how much legitimacy are you giving to the archetypes being decided by a by simply a defined interval of time? And also, I just gotta point out this before I forget it. And also I like the the brain replenish or renews every fucking cell in your entire body like once every seven years so like every seven years your entire body has been rebuilt at least yeah, once okay, okay. imagine how many times you do that during a lifetime so okay, being okay. born into a certain personality and not changing i think conscious is very fluent consciousness is like a fucking i don't know i can't even describe it it's just no one can fucking explain consciousness but you get what I'm saying? I think consciousness is something that's adaptable and can change over the course of time, not something you're born into. I agree. But if you look at like older people, so if you look at all the people around you, can you not still, even even though they're old, can you not still like type them? You still see the same structures at play, regardless of all their life experiences. Yes, they've changed. They Their whole personality might have changed as far as like the way they emote, the way they express themselves. But the information that they value, they pay attention to, maybe some of the ways they speak, like a, a lot of that is still similar. It's like their whole, people's whole life. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that the conscious, it's like, it's like everything. Everything in nature has been drawn two lines. Like 
So uh, you go if you look if you go look at any animal or any plant, whatever it is, it acts. It has a structure that has been built within, and then it has mm-hmm. some freedom of choice. So like dogs act different than other dogs, but they're all still dogs. You see similarities between the structure of dog that nature gives it. Yeah, but you also see structures of dogs that in, like change according to breed and like how they're bred. Like you can fucking bulldogs. Do you think dogs look like that? No. In the same way, consciousness can be altered over the course of time. I'm not, I'm not saying it can't be. I guess I'm missing what you're really trying to argue for. Maybe we're just missing each other's point. Um, I don't know. I just, I think okay. you are you are arguing from the point of like a person is born into one kind, not like solid kind of way, but at least into a folder. Like this is sort of how your personality will tend out, and then you'll proceed according to the folder your entire life. You're saying that, or I'm saying that. You're saying that due to the fact that you're believing in astrology. Mm, No, I'm not saying astrology defines exactly how you're going to be. I'm just saying it tends to, just like typology, it tends to... No, it's not like typology. Okay, so let me me just talk for a second. Can I say something real fast? Yeah. Separate, just for a second here, separate the idea of astrology as archetypes tied to art to particularly defined like birth intervals, right? Versus the archetypes as an accurate clustering observation themselves. I think that you're both kind of talking on different sides of this. But you, you can guess someone's personality. Can you guess my sign? If the signs are so obvious, I should you should be able to guess my sign, right? I mean, I don't I haven't talked to you enough, but maybe if I talked to you enough I could but I'm not like I'm not like that that well versed in astrology just that's because they are inaccurate and they don't apply to everyone i agree that there the descriptions are widely inaccurate yes I, i agree that but do i don't agree with the fact that the movement of bodies being this the planets and the whole our whole environment doesn't have an effect on the way your being is constructed because okay. What I you're, can buy them. So well, that's, been, that's all I'm saying. I think it's another typology that they and it's a big typology. That's that's why it's so hard okay. to to narrow down because it's that's an insane amount of information to try and. But then process. we can agree agree on the fact because what I thought you were arguing for is like the shit I see in the ENFP groups all the time. Like I'm a Virgo, I'm a Leo, and stuff like that. Okay, but see, what you're doing is taking one situation and overlapping it with the present situation and saying that that context is this context, but this context is this context. What I'm saying is real right now, like so the information is fresh. You're taking past situations and overlaying it over what I'm saying and saying, you're saying this, I'm not saying that. I'm relating what you're saying due to your lack of expression of what you're actually meaning. Well, okay, I get you. So you have to, you just have to ask questions and what you mean. Don't keep saying like, you don't tell yeah, someone, no, I you're saying that. this. Like, oh, I'm not saying I, I, that. What I thought you were arguing for was like the sign bullshit. But like, as we proceed this discussion, I understand that you don't believe in the science bullshit. And no, I can't argue with the fact that the constellations of stars and shit have some impact on us. But I can't prove it, nor can I disprove it. So for me, it's the same kind of religion base. It might be a typology, but I can't prove it if it is or if it isn't. I got you. I mean, it's just, I get what you're saying. You can't prove it as a hard science, but just because like you can't prove something to me doesn't mean it's not worth exploring. Prove it in the way that we normally think of outside proof. Because there's lots of things in your life you rely on that you don't have, like... Yeah, but I I just don't see any reliable reliable way to prove it. And that's why I sort of dismiss it. It's the same way as I'm saying, like, oh, God, please help me. I have a problem with blah. And then something positive happens. How can I prove that's just coincidence or if it's actually God? You can't prove it in the way that you're want that you're defining proof. Well, I'm not very well into like 
astrology at all. I just, I don't know. There isn't enough scientific.